What is up, guys? Welcome back to uh, Legend of Zelda 2 The King. Last episode, we made our way to Zoro's domain, got ourselves another tower, and today we're going to meet Sidon. And we also know Goop's just flying from that big old Goop pile. So we're gonna go say hi to Sidon. Hey, little buddy, old pal, talk. Sidon, it's us. Don't you remember us? Huh? Is it really you? <sighs> Ta-da! Sidon, Prince of the Zo Zora. It's good to see you, my friend. Hello, Sidon. He's definitely happy. <laughs> Link, it has been far too long. I received word that you have gone missing, and I was beside it was beside myself with concern. Whatever could have transpired? No. To think something like that would have could have taken place but place beneath beneath Hyrule Castle. And afterward, you mysteriously woke up on a sky island? Hmm. The sky could it be that the sky is the key to everything after all? Ah, hmm. oh, my apologies. I was actually been, I was have actually been wondering if those floating islands could have be the source of the flying sludge, and they are. That is why I've, I've asked, I've tasked a Zora historian with investigating rune fragments and all historical documents related to the sky. Mm -hmm. As for me, I am not a liber at liberty to leave this spot at present. I am as uniquely qualified to deal with the sludge here. Hmm. You see, old friend, this place is the source of the water that flows into Zoro's domain. Huh. This is why I m must use my power to water of water manipulation to separate the sludge from our water in order to clean it. If it I cease, then the solidified water will flow into our beloved home and there will be much pain and suffering. That is why I cannot afford to leave here no matter what. Well, we have to do something. Mm -hmm. Say, Link, does it not seem that Princess Zelda's whereabouts might be related to the floating sky islands in the ruins? Mm. So if you perhaps, so if so, perhaps you should go and s speak with our historian, Jayeto, his many years have blessed him with great wisdom. It is quite possible that he should could provide you with some useful information. As president, you sh should be able to find Jito continuing his investigation at Two Tube Lake. Mm -hmm. By the way, I hope you know what I am truly happy to see you again after such a long time apart, my dearest friend. Visit me anytime you like. Your presence is never anything less than welcome and appreciated. Side in the Zora. So. We need to go to Tutu Lake. Where's Tutu Lake? Lulu Lake. Tutu Lake. Right here. Best way I can maybe go back, get there, is maybe just straight up launching myself from the tower and just gliding over there or diving over there. It's it's the best shot I have because I don't want to go try and traverse all that right now. It's like I should try, but it's like it's going to take me hours to get over there if I try, really. Well, try and do that. I'm just trying to see if I can take the simplest way ever means. These trees, murking creatures, hate fire. So I guess those are what the tree monsters we've been facing or whatever have been are called. Oh, what am I doing? I have one. So if you guys don't know, I, like I think I talked about it in one episode or whatever, like the pen stuff or whatever. So I'm technically going, like, I have one thing I want to talk about, and it's about one stable in particular. It's, uh, not Dueling Peaks. It is this Riverside Stable, 
If you guys don't know, there's a quest over there or there. Oh yeah, we still have a lot. So I guess that tower over there is something or whatever. There we go. Try not to die here. This is all the stuff we've uncovered right now. And there's obviously a Thunder Gliok over there waiting to straight up kill me. Here we are at... At 2-2 Lake. So we're mostly just gonna try and look for him. You hoo You here? Is that a Thunder Gleok? It is! Just standing right there. Away with you right. Okay, I have to find him. One Zora called Jihito. Jihito. At 2 2 Lake. He said it, and I know he did. I think that's Jihito right here. Jihito! Ah, uh, an ancient stone slate. Hmm, this. Yeah, this is Jihito. This dignified presentation. Yes, the writing looks like waves upon a stormy sea. Extraordinary. This ancient stone slate was written by our Zora ancestors from the distant past and left for us to discover. But it's broken. Stand upon the land of the skyfish, a droplet, the watery bridge. Hmm. Alas, I can't decipher it. Hmm. Ah, Link! My apologies, I was deep in thought. In any case, I have news. I have made a monumental discovery. Ah. This is an un unbelievably an ancient uh, Zora stone slate. Better still, upon its surface there appears to be a text regarding the sky. However, the slate is broken, so am I... And so I am unable to read it its entirety. I deeply wish that I could f view the full text. Alas, I fear that my fins are tired. The broken slate. Okay, this could be a clue to finding Princess Zelda. There must be a way to decipher it. When you spoke to the historian Jihito, slate is broken and the full meaning is unclear. What am I supposed to do? Find the pieces of the slate? Investigation, eh? Uh, I will never understand the ways of historians. Can he not con conduct the investigation more cautiously? Oh, oh dear! I certainly hope that you did not overhear me at him grumbling to myself like that. It it's not as it sounds, really. Uh. Jehito keeps in interacting with dangerous things when I object his ins insists he insists it's necessary to his re for his research research that makes things quite difficult for me as it is it is my job to guard him that is why I gave it to a moment of grumbling well we already know about the ruins ruins <gasps> right do you say that that opening there you see that opening there uh. <gasps> oh I just found it the cliff crumbled as a result of the upheaval, and that result relieved these, revealed these ancient ruins. Princess Sidon immediately ordered a thorough investigation. Oh. Jehito is a historian, so this kind of thing is his specialty. He was, was terribly excited and is completely transfixed by the ruins. 
I see. And then, it's good I talked to her, because if not, I would straight up be super confused. I can't move it, because it's covered in sludge. Darn sludge. Get off this slate. Come on. Let's go. There we go. What is this? The stone slate I can hardly believe my eyes. Link, I must thank you. I'm gonna have to... Alright. We'll come back to this in a minute. I'm... I have to go eat real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <sighs> Sorry, that took me a little while. I had to do some chores and then eat. Whatever. Okay, now we're going to see what uh, Diito had to say. Oh, incredible! I can finally read it. Yes, a very well, I very well can. Stand upon the land of the sky fish uh, and behold its lofty view. Among the floating rocks, you can see a droplet of wait, waits for you. Though this droplet shoot an arrow at the mark of the king, do this task and you shall reveal the most wondrous thing. See the watery bridge, resting spots with your own two eyes, that's which connects the Zora to the people of the skies. This is an extraordinary discovery. This is important text actually tells us how to journey into the sky. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Though it's truth, that mystery must lead us straight into another. When difficulty has been overcome and yet another has appeared in its wake. As it mentions the mark of the king, perhaps it would be prudent to consult King Dorfin. I assume that he will be returning from his investigation of the sludge shortly. The broken slate. Clues of the sky. New objective. Stand, um, speaking... Finding the water your descript a clue from finding a water bridge. Johto suggests Jihito suggests speaking with King Dorfan about the mark. Well I think I would know now what to do. Well, if this is what I think it's wanting me to do, I'm gonna have to jump off here. I didn't see any shrines here. This is the closest shrine I could have gotten to. So we're just gonna, I guess we can go to King Dorfin or whatever over here. Boom. So she's just following Zora's domain. Dorfin super punch and super kick. Hi yeah, it's I'm so big and strong. Wahaha. Oh no, I got beat. The sludge is so yucky. Oh, you got me, you you big dumb monster. There's no other choice. I'll have to hide in a secret spot, and that spot is. Hmm. What's up, guy? You're full up. We're full up on folks who are allowed to play our King Dorfin game. We can't keep playing with you here. So take the hint and scram. Shoot away. <laughs> Me too. did it, but the sludge is too thick and gross. I have failed. My king, King Dorfin. Um, pretty please. Um, um, oh. What is if we went to that one place to hide? Ah. Hey, come on. Do it right. That didn't sound like him at all. Hmm. I'm trying, but I can't play Muzza and the monster. Not all by myself. Ah. Hey, I've been wondering forever. The secret spot where King Dorfin is hiding. What kind of place is it? <laughs> I know. I know, right. I asked Team Dwarfin about it once. 
Uh, he said it was a Kristen Sanctu Mummy or something. Kristen Sanctu. I guess it's a spot with clear water. Somewhere we can get your tummy clean and stuff. But these days, most of the water around the domain is all yucky because of the sludge. Oh, oh, I've heard that there's clean water flowing somewhere between Plomus Mountain and the domain. And there's supposed to be a secret entrance behind the waterfall, too. Mm. How cool is that? Oh. A secret entrance between a, between, behind a waterfall with clear water? Huh, that sounds pretty amazing. What? Yep, hey, wait a minute. Muzza told us we could never, never, ever tell anyone. Oh. It's fine, no one's listening. <laughs> anyway, let's go through our game again, this time with feeling. Oh, I can't we play something else? Clues to the sky. Aha. You overheard the children in Zora's domain that King Dor Thorfinn is in a pristine uh, sink tomb. It sounds like there's a secret entrance behind a clean, clean waterfall somewhere between Plymouth Mountain and the domain. I need to look for Plymouth Mountain. Somewhere, it's a secret entrance, so Plymouth's... I'm gonna head here and search. Let's search, because it says clues to the sky. It said something about between that mountain and the domain is a clean waterfall where if there's a secret entrance behind I me mean, through that waterfall. So that's kind of what I need to look for. Monster tips, moblins. They're large carnivorous, uh, oh, carnivores, fired, blah, blah, blah. So, we're mostly just gonna need to look for a waterfall, really. Just look for a waterfall that is clean that should have a secret entrance. So then, we can get whatever we really need. Cause look, this, oh, it's gotta be here. It's gotta be. Cause look, it actually shows you all the dirty places so look this area is clean this area lulu lake so i'm actually gonna go to lulu lake and try that and see if there's a secret entrance there then go somewhere else because if we can figure out where king dorfin is then we're si then we're good so calling your horses horses can you have registered or displayed on the map. If one of them is nearby, call it with down and it can run, come, it'll come running. So we're pretty much just coming back here so then we can go to a different place. Oh, it's behind us. What am I doing? So this yellow marker, I thought, I think. It's clean water with the waterfall right there. Well, it was in here. Nope. Not here, which is kind of annoying. Extend the ex excellent Dorfin. Mm. So the young ones are pretending to be King Dorfin for fun, but you know, wherever I, whenever I bring them some fish, boom, they stop what they're doing just like that. I wonder. I would really like to know what they're up to, King Dorfin. Eh? That's right. They're playing as though they were our beloved. They're our beloved king. All I heard was something about the sludge and your you monsters. Uh... It seemed like a strange game, to be honest. <laughs> I'm just grateful that they can play like that in the throne room. That means I don't have to worry about them. Wow. <laughs> pretty much, we're just gonna look at every pretty much waterfall that's somewhere close to here. Oh, come on. So it wasn't here. Next area? Because it could be somewhere right here. It's not anything here. It's like, look. 
it's got this thing, this thing, and this thing. Like, there's gotta be some kind of secret weird entrance I'm missing. It's literally, he said, behind the waterfall. said something. Okay, there's one more waterfall, and then there's this waterfall right here, and then the other ones are covered in sludge. Found it. Found it. Snailed it. Discovery. Pristine Sanctuary. This is definitely it. This is definitely what it is. I think they're all the way up there. I think that's what it is. I was so confused at a moment. I'm like, hey. Who's he, where, where are they? There's gotta be a way to get up there. teleport up here. It's not that big of a deal, really. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no! No! Dumb. Right there, maybe. This one maybe works. Yep. King Dorphin. Oh, I know you. Muzu. Gah, who approaches? Is that you? Is it? So it is? Link. Hello. How did you find this place? What cruel ploy are you plotting? Nothing. Hold my very loyal mu Muzu. If you speak in such a way without explanation, Link here will only be confused as to what is going on. What, are you okay, King Dorfin? King Dorfin, King of Zora. Zora. Hello, Link. It has been some time since we last spoke. I have received word that you went missing along with Princess Zelda. Why have you come here? To ask questions, but also I need to ask why you were here. Well, well, to think that such a thing would trans would transpire t for the hero of Hyrule and Princess Zelda. Huh? You expect us to believe that Princess Zelda simply disappeared just like that? Do not solely our ears with your lies? Oh, come on, Muzu. I know you don't trust us in the last game. Trust us now. I saw Princess Zelda with my own eyes right after the phenomenon at Hyrule Castle took place. Hmm. Calm down, Muzu. Link's eyes betray no hint of deception. He remains a trusted friend of Zora. There must be an explanation. Link, I will now tell you what happened when we last saw Princess Zelda. As we all, as well as the reason behind my succession here in the Pristine Sanctuum, oh. we encountered Princess Zelda just after Hyrule Castle ascended into the sky. Floating islands appeared at as if from nowhere, sludge and, frag and fragments of ruins began raining down. Muzu and I had left the domain to investigate their strange occurrences. This is when it happened. Princess Zelda descended from the sky, accompanied by the sludge monster. 
What happened next took up us by surprise. She then unleashed the beast upon us. What? What is happening? First, Zelda's horse is straight up scared of her. Zelda controlling this weird beast and then the sludge monster? Uh -huh. King Dorfin violently vanquished the threat. However, he was gravely injured by the sludge during the battle. As for the princess, she vanished without a trace. Uh. And word got out that the princess lost her mind and harmed the Zora king. The resulting turmoil would be devastating. This is why we are transparently, temporarily remaining hidden with the, within the Pristine Sanctuary. According to your story, Princess Zelda disappeared suddenly into the depths beneath Hyrule Castle. On the other hand, she suddenly appeared near Zora's domain and must have unleashed a monster upon us. The waters of truth have become murkier still, but from the Zora perspective, one thing is clear. It all leads back to the sky. This disaster, the sludge, the monster, and even Princess Zelda, it may well be the, that the answer of these riddles can only be found skyward. Sidon ordered Jehitu, a historian well acquainted with ruins, to investigate. I wonder if any progress has been made. Yes, there has. We just figured out this riddle. <laughs> ah, so you have already spoken with Jehitu. Hmm. You say that the mark of the king was mentioned on the stone slate that was restored? Hmm, indeed. I do know of it. The mark of the king refers to a Zora king scale. One of my scales is, in other words, hmm. I have heard it called by my the name you mentioned in an ancient ritual. However, none may remain who know how it is used, was used. And this particular scale of mine may prove yourself use, useful to you. By any means, take a few. There is no need to restraint. This is all nothing to me. If you run out, simply return and acquire more. Wahaha. <laughs> King scales times five. Well, thank you. Mm. After all, that these transpired, and after much reflection, I have come to a re resolution. I must truly be getting on in on in years to have allowed a mere monster to catch me off guard. Perhaps the time is nearing for me to pass the title to the king of king on to Sidon. Uh -huh. King Dorfin. Hmm. In any case, that is a matter for anything another day. After the chaos surrounding the Merc Sludge was quieted, Please inform Sidon about my situation and about the king's scales. Tell him there is no need to worry about me. Tell him that he must go forth and do what he needs to be what needs to be done. Sorry if you hear that. It's stinking a vacuum. It's the vacuum. Zippy vacuum. I can't believe it. So Zelda, I don't like this. First, Zelda is controlling this weird beast. Then, the horse doesn't like Zelda. Then, Zelda unleashes a death monster on King Dorfin. This is not right. Okay, side on. Go, buddy. I just have to say, you're gonna have to stop. Your dad said so. Hey, side on. Ah, oh, Link, have you made any progress in your search for Princess Zelda? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> what, you say my father was attacked by a monster? And that Princess Zelda unleashed it upon him? What could that possibly mean? Well, for now, I fear all we can do is take my father at his word and try not to let our concern overcome us. Mm -hmm. Link, thank you for telling me about my father. Mm -hmm. Princess Zelda descending from the sky, to men not to mention the monster, that filthy sludge. It means our course is skyward. We know now that the mark of the king written on... Of on the slate refers to my father's scales. The only remaining mystery is that the land of the sky fish and the floating rocks in the shape of a droplet stand upon the land of the sky fish that must be referring to an actual location of some sort. I am sure that if we locate the land of the sky fish, it will lead us to the floating rock that is in the shape of a droplet. Link, if you find any leads, please let me know at, at once. You relied? Okay. Your objectives as align with Sidon's. If you find a clue about the watery bridge connected to the Zora, to the sky, you should let him know. Is there anything that's marked like a fish? Anything? I actually do know these islands. These are filled with guardians, if I do remember. Huh. <sighs> anything with a fish?
So you relied relayed King Dorfin's story to Slide on both Princess Zelda's trail and destructive destructive sludge connected to the sky above the domain. Your reductive aligns with Sidon's. If you find a clue about the watery bridge connected to the Zora to the sky, you should let him know. Well, what do I do? And clues of the sky. Stand upon Fistress and draw foot. Maybe I should go back to the clues of the sky? Go tell him what it means or whatever, and tell him what we found. Maybe this is what we should do. I think we'll, we'll save this off. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Bye bye.